The Enigma of Unforgivable Rebellion, Decoding Satan's Fall Hey there, folks! Today, we're delving into a fascinating topic that has intrigued minds for centuries, why God doesn't forgive fallen angels, and the captivating story behind Satan's rebellion. Now, buckle up because we're about to unravel three complex puzzles that'll make your brain do a happy dance. Picture this, you create a robot to do good, and suddenly, it goes all rogue on you. That's our first puzzle. How did Satan, a perfectly crafted angel, decide to take the express route to the dark side? It's not a flaw in the divine blueprint, my friends. It's all about that magical thing called free will. Even though Satan was made top-notch, God threw in the freedom card, allowing him to make choices, including the not-so-great decision to rebel. Before we dive deeper into Satan's rebellious antics, let's take a stroll down memory lane. Lucifer, the hotshot angel, was all about light and beauty. His name even means lightbringer or morning star, showcasing his original cheerful nature. He held a prestigious position among the cherubim, those angels directly serving God. But then, boom! Lucifer's rebellion happened. Ezekiel 28 verses 12 to 15 gives us a sneak peek into Lucifer's pre-fall resume. Adorned with precious stones, strutting in Eden, this angel was the pinnacle of perfection, until iniquity decided to crash the party. Pride, folks! Lucifer's downfall was a conscious choice, a rebellion against God despite being perfect. Talk about a plot twist. Isaiah 14 verses 12 to 15 echoes the same sentiment. Lucifer's grand ambition to be God's equal led to a dramatic fall from grace. His pride turned him from a cherished cherub into Satan, the adversary. The rebellion was real, and Lucifer got evicted from the heavenly VIP lounge, transforming from light to darkness. Now, here's the kicker. Lucifer's fall wasn't a divine oopsie. It was a deliberate exercise of free will, a choice made with eyes wide open. Unlike human sin, often rooted in ignorance, the fallen angels rebelled with complete awareness. This, my friends, is a game changer in the forgiveness arena. Their sin wasn't a product of weakness, it was a bold rebellion against the big guy upstairs. Hey, before we begin I would appreciate if you would like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading Christian messages. If you are not subscribed, I recommend you to subscribe and activate the bell, so you don't miss any video that are uploaded every day. All right, let's keep rolling. God's mercy extends to those who mess up in ignorance and seek repentance. But Lucifer and his squad? They made a conscious, informed decision to flip the divine bird. That's why their sin isn't in the forgivable aisle. It's a resolute turning away from the Creator, not a whoops, my bad moment. Humans might stumble in the dark, but these angels chose to dance with the shadows in the spotlight. Lucifer's pride was the spark that ignited the celestial fireworks. The desire to be like or above God fueled his downfall. It's a cautionary tale about the power of choice, even for beings crafted in perfection. The fallen angel's rebellion, wrapped in Lucifer's pride, shouts, we'd rather rule in hell than serve in heaven. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the cosmic differences between angels and us. Angels are the spiritual VIPs, no physical bodies, just pure celestial glam. They're God's messengers, bodyguards, and worship enthusiasts. Psalm 148 tells us they're created by God's command a stark contrast to us, physical and spiritual beings. Angels are like supernatural superheroes, popping into human affairs like celestial consultants. They can look like anything, from dazzling seraphim to humble-looking humans. In their hierarchy, archangels like Michael lead the celestial pack. They're not to be worshipped, though, as Revelation 22 verses 8 to 9 clears up, worship God, not the winged sidekicks. Angels, the immortals of the divine realm, don't kick the bucket like us. But, here's the catch, 
their existence depends on God. Despite their celestial prowess, angels aren't all-knowing or all-powerful. They're like divine interns following the big boss's orders. And don't even think about putting them on your prayer list, they're not up for worship. Humans and angels may share the celestial stage, but we're fundamentally different. Angels, armed with instant understanding, made their choices fully aware of the consequences. Humans, on the other hand, fumble in the dark, learning and growing as we go. The fallen angel's rebellion, soaked in complete awareness, sets the stage for the cosmic drama. Can angels repent? Repentance, that magical word for seeking forgiveness, has its own cosmic rulebook. Imagine a seasoned pro, like a judge or top executive, fully aware of the rules, breaking them with eyes wide open. Now, swap the pro with fallen angels, deliberate choices, no learning curve, no room for oops. The fallen angels' decisions, made in the spotlight of their celestial wisdom, became the cosmic no-turning-back point. Divine justice plays a crucial role in this celestial drama. God holds beings accountable based on their knowledge and understanding. The fallen angels, with their PhD-level awareness, receive a different verdict than a stumbling mortal's. Matthew 25 verse 41 hints at eternal consequences, sealing the fallen angels' fate in the cosmic history books. So, we're diving into the cosmic depths, exploring the perplexing tale of fallen angels, Satan's rebellion, and the intricate dance between divine justice and forgiveness. Get ready for a cosmic journey that'll tickle your curiosity and ignite those brain cells. Let's get started. Now, forgiveness, my friends, is often like a dance, it's a two-step involving turning away from sin and turning towards God. But here's the twist, for beings like the fallen angels, repentance is a no-go. They made their choice with the full cosmic knowledge, ruling out the oops, my bad card. Their pride? Oh, that's a stubborn roadblock to seeking forgiveness. Now, picture this, in life, we often get second chances to correct our goof-ups. But Satan? Nope, no reruns for him. Why, you ask? Well, it's all about the nature of his cosmic choice. It wasn't a casual slip-up, it was a profound, informed rejection of God. Imagine a trusted friend knowingly betraying you, that's the gravity we're talking about. No room for a sequel in such a cosmic drama. Let's talk divine justice, it's like God's moral compass, ensuring fair and righteous judgment. Good gets a high five, evil gets the cosmic boot. The fallen angels? Well, they face the music, cast out of heaven, tempting and deceiving humans in opposition to God's will. Revelation 20 verse 10 paints the final judgment scene, eternal punishment for Satan and his squad. Justice served, no ifs or buts. Now, why did God even allow this cosmic rebellion? Enter free will, God's grand experiment in giving angels and humans the freedom to choose. Lucifer's rebellion, though tragic, highlights the importance of choice, love, and obedience. God allowed rebellion not as a divine oops, but as a cosmic showcase of his glory, justice, and grace. It's all part of the master plan. Romans 9 verses 22 to 23 spills the cosmic tea, God, in all his glory, bore with great patience the objects of his wrath. Why? To showcase the riches of his glory to those destined for mercy. So, while we scratch our heads at the cosmic complexities, God's divine patience weaves a tapestry of mercy and glory in the grand scheme of things. So, in this cosmic puzzle of fallen angels and divine justice, we find ourselves grappling with profound questions. Satan's rebellion, a saga of informed choices and cosmic consequences, underscores the value of free will. Divine justice, an unchanging facet of God's character, holds the fallen angels accountable for their rebellion. In our cosmic quest for understanding, let's embrace the complexities of God's plan finding peace in his ultimate wisdom. As we reflect on the fate of the fallen angels, may it inspire a deeper love, 
a greater appreciation for grace, and a steadfast commitment to live in righteousness. So, my fantastic listeners, as we ponder the cosmic ballet of forgiveness, divine justice, and the enigma of fallen angels, let this journey spark a flame of curiosity and a hunger for deeper cosmic truths. Until next time, keep exploring the cosmic wonders that surround us. Cheers to the cosmic adventure. And there you have it, folks, the enigma of why God doesn't forgive fallen angels. Lucifer's Rebellion, a symphony of pride and choice, set the stage for a celestial drama with no sequel. The fallen angels, equipped with knowledge and free will, took a cosmic leap into the abyss. Their sin, etched in the cosmic archives, becomes a timeless cautionary tale. So, as we wrap up this cosmic narrative, remember, our choices matter, and in the celestial realm, some decisions are written in the stars with no cosmic eraser in sight. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.